okay so now let's open our terminal can now open your terminal okay this is my terminal sorry for that this is my terminal let me zoom it out a little so you can see okay i think it's bold enough now so um the directory where i saved the virtual box is in desktop so i have to move to desktop see the linux means change directory so i'm actually moving to desktop directory and i created a folder called tools and i want to list everything on that tools then i press ls which stands for list and as you can see i have kali already downloaded here and virtual box okay so now we we'll install virtual box so to install virtual box on ubuntu you have to type sudo after sudo you do um, dpki dpkg dash i to install then vi arrow then click on your tab button and you see it automatically brings virtual box here then you click enter then it asks you for password and you click it pass um, type your password then it's going to install virtual box but i'm not going to install it because i already have virtual box on my pc so let's try to browse through the folder and see what is there so this is my folder and this is for tools this virtual box which we just installed now and this Kali Linux, this is the IS, ISO file. So now let's launch um, VirtualBox. Hello, okay, now we we'll finish with the installation of the files. So what next? Now let us launch VirtualBox by typing VirtualBox. It has been launched, so let's go to machine and say new and they say Kali Linux um, so as you can see type it has automatically set it to Linux so version we talk about version let's use the bin because Kali was actually built based on the bin so it's going to work because Kali can't be found here so we actually downloaded 64 bits so click on next and this to set the RAM size. Let's keep it like one, two, four. Okay, I think this will be okay. Click next. This to create a virtual hard drive. If it as default and click next. Next. And here you can change the size of the hard drive. So let me make it 20 GB. So click on create. And actually, this instance has been created. So let's click on st start. So now we have to select the ISO the .ISO file of Kali which we downloaded, which can be found here and open this and click on start so you can see Kali life but we are going to install Kali using the storm let me talk a little bit about this life is um when you don't want to actually install Kali on your hard drive, maybe you have Kali on a USB and you want to run it without installing it on your hard drive, then you can use this live mode and everything about live same, but actually want to install it. So click on we have two types of install, normal install, then you can see the graphical install. Let's just click on install, click enter. ok 
okay it says select language english and location and this is key um your keep um keyboard language the american english okay now let's load the additional components configure the network okay this is the host name you can make it whatever you want so uh, but i'm going just i'm just going to leave my own as kali fine with that and click enter the main name um you can just say localhost localhost okay continue and password you could set a password but right now i'm going to set my password as password yeah set rd click enter set the password again e a s s w r d but please don't make your own password password and this is just an instance okay select time zone stand click enter now as you can see here this is a guided um use entire digs with this is going to use the whole entire disk which we select which was 20 gb but i advise you should whenever setting up kali to make your computer more secure you should use the encryption which is this one by just clicking on it and click enter but i'm not going to use it here because it actually takes a little bit of time while it encrypts the whole drive but it's actually very safe it's the most secure way to install kali on your hard disks but i'm just going to use the normal install method without encryption click enter this is the hard disks the virtual hard disk which was created click enter so all files in one partition recommended for new users okay finish and this is finish partition here right changes to dix click enter right to dix yes okay right now it's installing Kali linux as you can see right now it says configure the pa um, package manager a network mirror can be used click on yes and continue okay okay now it's asking us to install the grub bootloader on the hard disk yes and this is the part of our hard drive we install it on the hard drive okay now it's trying to install grub grub is the bootloader and it has finished installing grub as you can see it has finished installing the installation complete installation is complete so it is time to boot into your new system make sure to remove the installation this okay just click continue as you can see now it's rebooting the machine okay let's wait while it loads up it's still loading okay and let's ask for username the username f uh, by default is root and the password was the initial password you actually set when you were installing it and mine was password did welcome you just installed your first color linux box but now we've got a problem here what we're not having a full screen so to actually get a full screen after installing Kali on VirtualBox 
let's go to um, device Insta insert guest additional CD image and click on it and wait it gets inserted okay this has been inserted so when you click run hopes there was a problem running the software unable to locate the problem okay fine now let's open it and when you open it this is what you are going to see inside so what we actually need is this file the other ones like consistent is for windows this is for mac and so the body is what we actually need so let's copy this out and copy and paste it on the desktop okay so now it's here on the desktop so let's go to our terminal and change directory to desktop ls and you can see this is the file so now let's try to make this file executable by typing chmod plus x vb okay then click enter click ls you see it has changed to green which means it's now executable so now let's run this file with dot slash v v and click enter now it's presently installing the virtual box linux additionals so let's wait till it finishes and now it has finished so what we have to do next now is to reboot our system to reboot you can come over here and click on this button and say restart but since our thumbnail is already open all you need to do just to type reboot and it's going to reboot the machine okay click enter it's rebooting now so the machine is actually starting up again we have actually installed the um, virtual box additional tools return and as you can see right now we have a full screen which means that problem has been solved so let's wait while it loads up okay now we have successfully installed Kali and fixed the problem of the half screen and now it's full screen so now you can click on this and say oh First of all, delete this. Move to trash. Come over here. You can inject. Click on the directory and come over here and say inject. Okay. Now, you tend to see these big icons on Kali. But actually, I don't like them. So, what to do is to come here. And move the arrow down and you can see it is small now so what's the first thing you do after installing Kali apc dash get update update and apt dash get update grid or instead of upgrade do destroy upgrade okay you can see this command now you can actually type this to upgrade your system to update and upgrade, upgrade to the latest i think we successfully installed kali on our um, virtual box now we can actually virtualize kali but always update your machine to keep it secure and safe with this command so now let's actually see if it's working normal using the normal ping tool to do ping g o g l a 
okay as you can see Google is responding that means actually connected to the internet so this is the browser which is um, Weasel it's Firefox it's Firefox but so it's rebuilt name was changed and it's called as Weasel on Kali okay and this is Kali's website okay that means our operating system is working okay you can actually change the view to full screen mode and switch okay okay Thank you very much for watching this video to the end. At this point in time, I bid you farewell. Hoping to see my next video.